The role of forecasters is crucial for warning people of such storms, but in the Philippines, more and more meteorologists are leaving the country. Jamila Alindogan finds out why. Renito Pasciente has been working as a forecaster for the state-run weather bureau for almost 30 years. The salary is low and the working hours are unpredictable. But he says this is not why he is here. I've stayed because I want to uh, help our country, to serve our people. And aside from that, a uh, few years from now, I'll be retirable. But some of his colleagues have been leaving. Five meteorologists have left just this year, lured by overseas jobs, mostly in the Middle East. President Benigno Aquino says the departure of these professionals shouldn't be a concern. Over 30 new forecasters have been recruited this year. But the State Weather Bureau admits the problem is not in finding good people in the country. It is in keeping them. We need to raise the status of the meteorologists in the Philippines because actually I think we're, we're, we're moving on with what we have now, but still we need support, continued support because with the technology change, we, are, we must not be left behind from other countries. Forecasters abroad get paid at least five times more than they make here. Those who have opted to stay say they hold on to the promise of better benefits and an improvement of their outdated equipment. Their jobs has become crucial following recent natural disasters. Typhoon Ketsana left more than 400 people dead, with the city unprepared for a disaster of such scale. Government officials here say lessons have been learned since then, but for residents here, the fear of another disaster remains. Some communities have found ways to cope, learning how to monitor weather changes and setting up their own systems so they are able to respond faster. The World Risk Index has put the Philippines as one of the country's most vulnerable to extreme natural disasters, like Typhoon Haiyan that left more than 7,000 people dead last year. Experts say it is expected to get worse. And so some weather forecasters here stay on despite the challenges. They do the best they can, they say, with what little they have. Chamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.